Hello right, friends, welcome back to another video on building multi-purpose Laravel 9 and Vue 3 application. And in this video, we'll be working on doing some refinement and fixing some of the issues. So let's get started. First of all, let me show you one issue while adding a new user. Let me open up the console first. And if I click on add new user, let me add a new user called demo user demo at example.com and with some password if i click on save then this model is not hiding and that data is not being inserted on this table and we are getting error on our console and it is saying cannot read properties of undefined reading data on line uh, 47 so we are using pagination so we need to update our code accordingly so let me go to user list.view file and on this line is giving the issue right and we are doing unshift on users.value but actually we need to do unshift on users.value.data okay because we are using pagination and let me refresh this and try one more time let me close this add new user demo2 demo2 at gmail.com with this password and this is working now right which is perfect now let's work on doing some refinement let's add uh, icon for add new user button so let me go to add new user button over here and let's add icon i class fa fa plus with circle and let's keep margin right of one and we have this beautiful icon right now let me click on this checkbox and we have delete selected but it is good to show some text like how many users are selected so let's do that part and also let's add icon on delete selected button as well so over here first of all let's add icon i class calls fafa trace with the margin right of one let me save this and we have this icon which is perfect and let's add uh, some text after the button so let's wrap this inside of one div and over here inside of span tag let's add a text called selected to users and if we have this uh, let's fix this by adding a display of flex over here display of flex this is perfect and let's give some margin from here margin left of 2 and this is perfect now instead of uh, displaying this static text uh, let's change this value based on the selected items so for that we can simply uh, get the count of selected users dot length and it is displaying uh, eight users are selected right which is perfect if I unselect one and it is saying seven users now let me test one thing uh, with pagination as well let me go to user controller and over here let's do paginate of two and if I uh, click on this checkbox and it is saying selected two users what if I go to next page and these items are also sound is selected which is not right right so while switching on different pages let's clear the selected user that will be fine I think so let's do that part let me go to user list and uh, on let me go to the top I think we have one method for getting the users over here and after we get the users uh, make sure to clear selected users value as empty array and select all dot value as false now if I select these and go to next page uh, then this is removed which is perfect and also let's uh, hide this if we are not selecting any users so let me search for selected over here instead of adding v if 
on this button let's add a if on this main div now if i click on this checkbox and go to next page then this is removed which is perfect so this much for this video i hope you learned something from this video so don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel as i'll be uploading the videos like this so till then have a great time and i will see you on the next one